Hi everyone, welcome back to Natural Beauty with Melanie. Today I am here with my trusty sidekick, Tommy, to do some empties with you guys. My last video on empties um, was February, so it's about two months later, so let's get into it. All right, I went, I took a lot of baths in the last two months, so I have some bath products that I finished up. This one is a Dr. Teal's Kids Bath Time Fizzy Fun Scented Bath Bombs Coconut Cove with Natural Essential Oils. There were five bath bombs in here, um, and I had gotten this as a gift from somebody for one of my baby showers, and um, these were nice. Um, they smelled really good. They fizzed well. Um, I don't know if bath bombs are my thing for baths, um, but I wouldn't buy these ones again. I would probably check out some other brands um, that I've heard about and stuff. So finish those up. Another bath item I finished up was from the same brand, Dr. Teal's. I was really intrigued by these. These were also a gift along with these bath bombs. Um, bath tea, common green tea, and it's a blend of pure Epsom salt, green tea, oats, and botanicals. Um, I don't, I think there was three, um, tea bags in here and they looked, I wish I had one to show you, but would have been like a rotting tea bag, but they were so pretty. They looked so nice. The, like the tea bags were like silk, silky ish and they had like oats in them and flowers and just like salt and everything in them. They looked beautiful and they looked like they would be such a noteworthy bath experience and they fell flat for me. Um, they weren't, they weren't really that scented. I felt like they didn't really do anything for the bath at all. So that was kind of disappointing. So for me, I will not be repurchasing these and I wouldn't really recommend them, but I would love to try bath teas in the future. If anyone has any suggestions on a bath tea, I think it's a really cool concept and uh, I would love to try, you know, a different one. I would like to leave the tea bag in this, in the shower and like, um, you know, let like when we took showers, like a day or two to like see if it would, kind of activate it and stuff, but and like let it sit on top of the drain, but it didn't really do anything sadly. So not a huge one for me. Um, this is an item for my kids. Uh, we use a bubble bath every time they take a bath and somebody on another YouTube channel had recommended this brand. Um, I don't know if it's Babo or Babo Botanicals, moisturizing baby bubble bath and wash. Uh, the scent was comforting oat milk and calendula and sulfate free, tear free, worry free. They did great sudsing. So if you're looking for a bubble bath, even whether yourself or the kids, cause I've used this before for myself too. Um, the sudsing is great. So I recommend that. Um, definitely has like a decently strong scent. Um, but I would think I would buy this again. It was a good bubble bath. So I think I recommend that one. Now let's see. I have some other, so I, and more of a soap fan versus a body wash fan. Um, I don't really buy much body wash, at least not right now. So I bought these by my friend's recommendation. These are Beekman 1802 goat milk soap, and these ones were nine ounces, so they were the big bars. What I did is um, I, when I got them to like break them up, I gave my mom some pieces of it to try out, and I didn't want to put this huge nine ounce bar because it's kind of like the size of your hand. It's pretty big and like thick. Um, so I took, what I did is I got water boiling and I took like a really sharp knife and I just dipped it in and cut the soap and it worked perfectly. So if you're looking to, sh um, like shorten any soap, I recommend it that way. And from what I've heard, sometimes it can last longer, uh, versus having like the big, huge bar in that shower. Um, so, you know, I liked these well enough, but I don't know if they'd be a repurchase for me. Um, I thought I was going to love them more but, and this one's enriched with jojoba, but I liked it, it was nice, but it wasn't standout for me, so I'm definitely gonna explore some other um, soaps before I went back to Beekman 1802 if I did. And then I had another soap by them. Um, this is, the packages smell really good. Honey and Oats Scrub Bar, enriched with cocoa butter. This is another nine ounce. Um, Again, not super noteworthy for me, and it had like a really subtle exfoliation, which was great. So if you're looking for gentle um, soaps, but with some exfoliant, this would be good. Um, but again, not something that I'm gonna rave about. So may or not, may not be a repurchase, we'll see. Tommy's really giving the death stare, huh? All right, another shower product here was, this was for the kids, uh, Baby Wash Bombo Nature. 
and this was a hair and body wash. Um, this was fine. It was unscented, so, you know, it worked fine and stuff, but I kind of like a scented product even for the kids as long as it's natural and everything and clean. So this was fine, but not a repurchase for me. All right. This was part of my project pan and so old and kind of gross. Um, this was a Mary Kay Mint Bliss scrub for feet. So I am thrilled to say that this is done. It very well could have been like one of the oldest products I had in my collection. So this Mary Kay scrub is done. And I would say probably most likely, I didn't really study the ingredients, but if I had to guess, yeah, there's like parabens and stuff. So not a clean product. Next up is Coco Kind Oil to Milk Cleanser. This was the face wash that I was using for a very long time and it seemed like it would never die. I thought for at least two to three weeks that I was on the last serving and it kept going and going and going. And you can see that I definitely squeezed every last drop out of it. So um, this is kind of like almost like a Vaseline consistency. It has like a geranium sort of scent. Um, and I liked this face wash. I don't think it'll be a repurchase because right now I'm using the pie um, oil cleanser, like the Rosehip Lightwork oil cleanser. That's not the official name, but something to that effect. And I like it. I like it even better than this. And I love the scent. It's so like, it's citrusy and so nice. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing this Coco Kind face wash, but they do have like travel sizes now. And I could see if I was looking for um, a face wash, like a travel size, maybe I get this, but Anyways, I do recommend it. I do recommend Coco Kind, but I was so glad when I finished it. I was just ready to move on. <laughs> um, another Coco Kind product I used was the One For All Balm. I use this as a hand cream. It's for dry skin, for dry cracked skin. And again, um, this was just like the night, night cream or the hand cream I had on my night table. I just always have hand cream that I put on before bed. And um, they just say you need like a pea size amount. This is also sort of like a Vaseline consistency, um, but I didn't feel like it left my hands too greasy and it had a natural scent. Um, so fine if you're looking for almost like an alternative to Vaseline, I would recommend this. Um, you could probably use it on your lips if they were really dry. So this is not a repurchase for me though. I just don't really like need something like that in my um, arsenal. And this was on my um, project pan. This is the Ava skin, the old Ava Anderson, Ava, bleh, Ava Anderson brand toner. And um, this was very old, but only recently popped the seal on it. So at least it was not rotten. <laughs> but anyways, this was a nice toner. I liked it. It worked out well and I finished it up. So that was great because I'm trying to get rid of like my oldest products first. I have some soap wrappers because of course I can't show you the soap because it disintegrates, but um, my husband had gotten a pack of nat natural soaps for me for Christmas um, from Amazon that were highly rated. So they're, they're, the brand is Bali Soap and this was a papaya scent which had um, uh, some exfoliants in it. So it was pretty nice. Um, I ha still have maybe like eight others of these soaps in each different scents to like go through. So. Um, I might consider repurchasing these, but there's probably other soaps I'm going to try first. And we also have a Bali soap and vanilla, which was nice as well. If you have any curiosity, these are, the ingredients are palm oil, coconut oil, water, alkali, vanilla fragrance oil in this one, rolled oat, um, also like exfoliant and chopped vanilla bean. And these are from Indonesia actually, so of unique okay the next thing up is the peter thomas roth water drench hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer this is moisturizer that i would have um in my gym bag for after i showered and you know for my voice face moisturizer so i just wanted to finish this one up it was 20 milliliters really small um it was a nice moisturizer not a repurchase for me i'm not really sure about ingredients in peter thomas roth it says clinical skincare, so if I had to guess, it's not clean and natural, but I could be wrong. Um, so just not, not a um, noteworthy one for me, so not a repurchase. Here I have one of my two Li Hao Refreshing Face Mist. This is from Hanua. Um, I really like this face mist. It smells so good. It has a blue tansy scent. Um, it's 
interesting the there's like a lot of sediment and stuff from the blue tansy and the essential oils and everything this is normal and this is not an old product i got this in december so this is um only a few months old so there's nothing wrong with it this is just the way it looks so if you ever get this product just know that there's going to be like some um color coloration and like sediment and stuff that might make it look a little unique such a great smell I love it. Um, nice face mist. So I would recommend this one if you're looking for a unique face mist and if you're a Blue Tansy fan. Glass packaging. It's nice. All right. So in one of my purchases, I think it was Beauty Heroes. Um, it came with a sample of the Blue Alchemy Active Relief Body Oil with Holy Basil, Copaiba, and Hinoki. Um, but when I got mine, it came in like um, a little, almost like a little paper package and you could tell all the oil or some of the oil had leaked out. There was like a grease or oil stain on the package and um, could have even been the one I'm holding it. You could see like the, I don't know if you can see it here, but um, the, like there was oil on the bottom and I thought it was because there's a little hole right there um, and I thought it had leaked out, but it turns out that wasn't the reason it leaked. However, um, Beauty Heroes, I told them about the leak and that I had really wanted to sample this and um, to, you know, make it up to me, they sent me two, two more of the samples. So in the end, I went through three samples of the Blue Alchemy body oil. It smelled really nice. Um, I, I can't really describe the scent other than what they say here with the, with the ingredients I told you, but I think it smells really good. It was a really nice body oil and I would definitely reconsider. I would consider repurchasing this in the future. So Blue Alchemy, that's the first thing I've ever tried from Blue Alchemy too. And I was pretty pleased with it. Next up is the, this was from my Clean Beauty box from either I think October. Um, and this was Revival Bioactive Beauty Mask from Daphna skincare and this is or was I used up the whole mask it was um, it was like a mask with charcoal and you would scrub it in and the charcoal would like break up while you were doing the mask I thought this was really nice mask I really enjoyed using it and sampling it um, I would consider repurchasing it in the future but there's so many different masks to try from different brands even I would like to try some other masks from Daphna um, because they have some other ones that have won awards and things so they have one like called detoxify which I'm kind of curious about so I would definitely recommend this one if you you know were to read about it and were interested in like how it described it and stuff it was a really nice mask um, but it won't be something I'll be like repurchasing right now because I have other masks to try and explore this was a sample I had it was the pie rose hip bio regenerate oil. I really liked this. I almost bought a size, like a full size of it. However, because I have so many moisturizers, I'm holding off for now while I use others, sample others and get to the point where I would actually need a new one. So I really like this. The scent was unique. Uh, I, you know, it's probably a rose hip scent that I'm just starting to like that get accustomed to but I found it to be really gentle and pleasant and everything. It was a beautiful oil. So if you're looking for like a nice, not super scented, um, nice face oil, I do recommend this little one. I think the sample came from the detox market and it was a really, I mean, I got to use it a lot. You know, oil can go a long way. Um, and this was a great way to sample it. If you're looking detox market, um, I think they're still doing samples. The vitamin C, Coco Kind um, Serum with Sea Grape Caviar. This was also on my project pan. This lasted so long, but I got through the whole thing. And I really like this vitamin C serum. One thing I was listening to Breaking Beauty podcast recently, an older one, and they had an older um, episode because I'm catching up. And they had um, an esthetician or I think a dermatologist maybe on and on their podcast and they were saying that for vitamin C serums, they should never be um, in a container where air can get in, that vitamin C is so finicky, I've heard, that um, it should be in an airtight container, so something more like a pump that you can't open up and not a dropper, they said. So I would just, I don't know if that's fact and if other people would agree. Um, apparently Tommy's bored by that. But uh, 
I would, I, I like the serum, but I think I would try others probably in airtight containers and, um, you know, just explore different vitamin C things. But I do recommend, this is definitely affordable. It's like probably, I think under 20 or under $30 and it lasted a long time. It had a nice scent. I read sometimes that sometimes vitamin C serums can not smell great. So this one was really nice. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for an affordable vitamin C serum and you're not worried about the air exposure. Um, I didn't have any issues with this, you know, going bad or anything like that. So that's just something that I heard and passing on. First drunk elephant um, product I tried ever. This bestie, I think it's supposed to say. Number nine, jelly cleanser. Um, it says cantaloupe glycerin on the bottom. And my friend had given me this sample. She had extras. I was not impressed by this. Um, it was unscented. You know, it had a good lather, but I just didn't think there was anything special about it. I like scented products, so, um, you know, not for me, but might be for somebody just looking for like an unscented foaming cleanser. Let's see, this was from a Petty Vore box. This was Levito Thera Intensive Foot Cream. Um, this was really nice. It's the tea tree foot cream. It smells really good. Um, not something I'm going to go to repurchase. I don't, I mean, I don't really need like a foot cream. I can just use any cream on my feet. Um, you know, when I'm going to be moisturizing after the shower, but I liked it. If you're looking for a specific foot cream and you like tea tree, I do recommend this, but, um, I enjoyed trying it. It was nice to try. And this was, um, I think I ended up using this. A uh, Cetaphil or Cetaphil baby wash and shampoo with organic calendula. I think um, I had used this maybe on the kids a little bit and then just like finished it off myself. It was fine. Not a repurchase for me, but it was just something I got, I think, when I was having the kids. And, um, you know, they give you samples and stuff sometimes. So otherwise, all my empties here are hotel travel things. This was a big part of my project plan to get rid of or to get through all my hotel shampoos, conditioners, body washes, and body lotions. So these are oh, all the ones I went through in the um, two months. So you probably don't really need to know much about these, but there's like a body wash, um, moisturizing shampoo, Sicilian blood orange and sandalwood. It smelled so good. And they had conditioner. Sorry, I just see Tommy like standing up conditioner lotion I was using them and they smelled so great but I looked at the ingredients and I didn't think that they were too great so I won't be buying them but they smelled amazing there's the moisturizer there's the conditioner same brand Taroko. um this was a I like this olive branch botanicals shampoo I don't know anything about the brand but shampoo did actually pretty great on my hair it does say nourish by nature formulated without Sulfates, parabens, phthalates, DEA, TEA, propylene, glycol, mineral oil, petroleum products, and synthetic dyes, animal cruelty free. So you maybe could look into this olive branch botanicals. I've never really heard of the brand. Um, standard body lotion, Neutrogena. <laughs> Neutrogena body lotion, light sesame formula. Um, then I have two of these same body lotions aromatic wood scent. They smelled really good. Um, fan aromatic wood body lotion infused with rice bran oil and vitamin E. Good smell. Not so sure about the ingredients. Just trying to finish these up. And I had two of these body lotions. I don't know one why one like got clear and one didn't. But um, archive body lotion, rose hip and lavender. Not a huge fan of the scent, but done. There was one thing I guess I forgot. It was a little, little Mary Kay eyeliner sample and I finished it. That is everything. Thanks for watching. Look forward to coming back with a different video soon. And please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button so you can know when I put out my next video. Bye.